Hello, I'm Ulle from Hacking Chinese and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Firefox to search for a word in multiple dictionaries at the same time. Now this is very useful when we study languages because we often find ourselves in a situation where one dictionary is not enough. Uh, one dictionary might have good example sentences, another might have good translations, and a third might have good pronunciation. But there simply isn't a perfect dictionary and we will need more than one if we want to learn uh, what there is to learn about a specific word. If we want pictures or something else which is usually not found in dictionaries, we are definitely going to need more than one search. Now, opening uh, tabs with all these different uh, websites and doing the search manually takes a lot of time. And if you do this many, many times, you realize that quite a lot of time is wasted. I found a way of doing this which is pretty, f um, pretty good and it works like this. I select these, uh, the word here, Shengbing, that I want to um, look up. I right click, I select this Web Search Pro, which is the plugin that we're going to use. And just to show you what it looks like, I just select Chinese here, and voila! We have one, two, three, four, and five tabs with this search term entered on all these five websites. Now this is very convenient indeed, so let's look at how this how that was done. I'm using Firefox in Chinese, but in English it probably says add-ons here. So we go to the add-on section and we enter the name of the plugin we want to use, which is called Web Search Pro. Like that. And of course it will show up as already installed for me, but for you it will be um, out here. So you install that and you go to anywhere you want, wish and right click, you will have a web search pro here. You might be, have to restart Firefox, but I'm not going to do that. So at the very bottom here, you will find search engines and settings. So let's go there. Here you will find many different categories of search engines. And when you install the program, um, there will be lots of, lots of different search engines already uh, pre-installed. Now I've removed all of these because I, I'm just using this for Chinese. So let's look here at my Chinese category. We see that we have these five websites. And to show you what this is like, uh, how you install these or how you set it up, I'm going to remove these. And we close the dialog. So if you want to do this again now, we will see that they have gone. We just have Google down here. To add these again then, we need to first go to these websites and I've prepared this by uh, saving all of the dictionaries here. So I open them and uh, we find the search field here on each. We right click, we go to add personal search engine and we can choose names here in this dialog. We can see the address and here we can choose uh, the category. Now I want to put all my dictionaries in one category called Chinese, so I do that and OK. I need to do this for the next one, so right click, uh, add personal search engine, and change the group to Chinese, and close. So I do this again for the remaining <coughs> three websites. Uh, personal search engine, Chinese, OK, and lastly this one. Chinese and OK. So now we have set up all these five uh, websites. So if we right click here again and we go to Web Search Pro, we see that these five have now appeared again. Uh, if we click only one of them, like only Google Pictures here, it's going to make just a Google Pictures search for this term. Uh, of course, you can add any number of dictionaries you want here. You could have, uh, oh no, no, you can have as many as you like. Uh, but the most useful feature here still is if you click the category name, it will open all of these at the same time. So again, we have one, two, three, four, and five different uh, dictionaries. Of course, this is uh, not useful for all dictionaries. There are some that have some kind of weird uh, thing going on with their search fields. This one, for instance, I'm not a programmer, so I don't really know what's going on here, but um, this search field here is not accessible for from any plugin. It's not compatible. 
So if you try to add this, it won't work. Uh, this is the same for normal keywords in Firefox as well. Uh, fortunately, this is an exception and it works for almost all dictionaries and websites. Now, note that, I, note that I said websites because you can use this for Wikipedia or picture searches or anything you like. You, don't only, you, you can use it for much more than just dictionaries. Uh, so that's what was roughly what I wanted to do, show you today. Uh, if you want more tips and tricks for learning languages, head over to Hacking Chinese. And if you have any suggestions or thoughts, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching and happy studying!